This is uh, Byron and Jude here. Greetings, uh, greetings Jude. Uh, going over uh, status update on refurbishment of this uh, SUS MA 150cc. It's a 2001 vintage. Um, we are uh, well into the refurbishment. The tool has been reassembled with all rebuilt subassemblies and, and parts and components. So Jude will be going over what has been done before we put p certain panels back together. And, and start reassembling the tool. Uh, Jude was, is going to uh, describe uh, where we're at and, and what we will be doing uh, moving forward here. Jude, uh, on okay. to you. So I'm gonna close up as you, you, know, as you point at, at certain sub-assemblies, I can do okay. some close ups and whatnot. The most important, I mean, probably the most major sub-assembly to be removed or was removed and completely remanufactured was this mask stage and um, also the WEC head, which is now concealed by this mask holder. So the complete WEC assembly? Yep, it was and completely the removed, all the consumable parts that's recommended by the manufacturer to switch out every five or so years. We're, we're completely replaced. Linear guide bearings, all springs, um, O-rings on the WEC brakes. Okay. And the mask stage was sent out to a, another partner of ours, and I'm not 100% certain what they did, but I'm I would imagine they completely stripped it down and installed new bearings, uh, lubricated it, and set okay. it up to so the manufacturer spec. Complete rebuild of the mask stage and uh, WEC assembly. Right, and also the BSA stage, which is attached to the mask stage. And that's right there. And that's been completely disassembled and relubricated, and I'm preparing to do an actual BSA perpendicularity setup with a special test mask. Um, that's done by leveling the stages, each stage independently. Um, also, on this particular stage, the Z-axis belt was broken, so there's a new belt. You can't see it's actually underneath. Okay. On the upside. But, um, okay. So, um, and then? Next, the pre-aligner and the wafer transport. There's a pre-aligner that was completely, that was removed and completely stripped clean and re-lubricated and checked and the, all the flags for the Z-axis positions were reset. Wafer transport was taken out, an actual new belt was put on the, the transport system. You see the white belt here? Oh, yep, yep. Let me come around here, maybe get a better view on that. New belt. It's a brand new belt. Okay. And that was that. Both of these actually have to be completely taken out of the tool in order to get the mask stage out. So while they're out, they're. Okay. They're, uh, and there's some, some grease there. It looks like you've. Yep, some Isoflex. That's the uh, exact same greases that they use in the factory. To, Okay. Oh yeah. So pre-liner, this is an optical pre-liner? This one is is an optical as in infrared. Infrared, IR, okay. This, okay. this particular tool comes with two different kinds, a digital and an analog pre-liner. Okay, and this tool is just for comment, uh, just to, to add, this tool is set up for three inch wafers per, uh, for our customers, uh, three inch, uh, they're what, gallium arsenide? Yep, they're gas wafers. Gas wafers, okay, as you see the three inch uh, cassette. Um, you know, basically I've gone over pretty much the whole tool. I've checked over the pneumatic block, each solenoid for proper actuation, each throttle setup, to make sure they're set to factory specs. I do want to point out your uh, level of detail here on the uh, the tubing. Well, I appreciate it. All the uh, numbers are in line. Um, and it's always important, every little detail counts. And also you'll notice inside the lamp yeah, house itself, ahead. we have a brand new... Brand new uh, ellipsoid. Brand new cold light mirror. Yeah, that's important to note. Is that you know, in class one, our refurbishment process uh, entails replacing the ellipsoidal mirror with a brand new one, and uh, there's a brand new lamp under here. Let me see if I can get a a nice shot. Well, oh yeah, have you installed? Yep, it's there. Okay, brand new okay. thousand watt lamp. Another important thing. Cold light mirror. Is the, yep. the actual shutter assembly was sent out to our partner and completely uh, disassembled and remanufactured. Okay, shutter you assembly. See, yeah, you covered it up. Right. Point, but right. You can see inside yep. the shutters themselves are kind of saturated from the ultraviolet light over the years, but yep. that's just a piece of metal. Yep. Okay. Okay, shutter assembly rebuilt. All the high temp tubing's been checked and some replaced. Okay, if high temp tubing. Cracking, all of it actually looks in good condition. Okay. Um, the lamp manipulator, you see each axis was removed and
clean for nice fluid movement. Very nice. So, like to, sometimes every time just the, the That's a beautiful the thing. Blow up kind of okay. It's difficult to too. Now, does that summarize the sub-assemblies and other uh, components, and or do you want to yeah. go over kind of what you're doing next? Yep. A couple other things I got to do next is uh, just check over each cassette elevator. I'm going to strip each lead screw and linear guide. And sorry, hey, sorry. Go it. ahead. Say that again. Well, each of the cassette, your output and input cassettes, I'm going to. Um, well, they won't actually need this assembly. However, I will. Uh, We'll shuffle them down and strip the lead screw drives and the linear guides on the rails here. You can see there's a little yep. bit of some old grease that'll be completely pristine and then it'll be relubed with Isoflex, which is used in the, the factory when they manufacture these tools. Right, Isoflex, okay. Okay, and then finally the, the TSA manipulator, which is actually in, in immaculate condition when you guys purchased it. Okay. The, um, the grease is a little bit old. It's probably just from sitting a little bit. So they're all going to be stripped clean. Yeah, so it does look a little old. Yep. And then yep. um, just completely exercise and relubricate a brand new grease and it's going to be fine. I'll check over the, the actual dovetail bearings and make okay. sure that they're okay. Which I'm very certain they are because they look great. So, um, looks good. Yeah, looks real good. So far so good. Okay, great. We'll uh, continue this on at the next stage. Thank you, Jude. Yes, sir.